Updating or replacing images and storyline projects can be a real time-consuming process. First, you have to locate the image in your project, then you have to export it from Storyline, open it with your image editor, make the edits, save it, and then replace it in your Storyline project. Now, hopefully, it will retain its size and position when you replace it, but you shouldn't count on that. Fortunately, the folks over at Articulate have developed a new feature that is going to change the way you work with images and other media when working in Storyline 360. Hi. My name is William Everhart, and I am an instructor here at eLearning Uncovered. In this video tutorial, I wanted to share with you just one of the ways in which you can put Storyline 360's new media library to work for you. So let's dive right in and take a look at this time-saving new feature. The Storyline project that you see here is comprised of a series of slides that I downloaded from Articulate's content library. These ready-made slide templates make it really easy to get up and running with a new Storyline project, and they come complete with interactions, animations, and yes, you guessed it, media. But what if I wanted to replace or maybe even just edit one of these pictures? Well, with the new media library feature, that's gonna be really easy. Let's take a look at the process. So first I wanna open up my media library. So I'm just gonna go up here to the view ribbon and I'm going to select media library. Once the media library opens, I can see that I have a series of images here, but not just images. I also have characters, any audio files that are in the project, and of course, video. So basically all four forms of media that I can use inside of a Storyline project are all managed right here inside the media library. And that is awesome. But I wanna focus just on the images for a moment. So let me go back over here to images. In order for me to locate an image that I'm using in a project, I simply select it and then come over here to the right-hand side of the media library. And down here towards the bottom, it will tell me on which slide or slides it's being used on. Now this is only used once, but if I click on this small icon here, I can jump to that location in my Storyline project. And if I move my media library out of the way a bit, we can see that indeed here is that image being used on the slide. Now what if we wanted to make a change to this image? This is where the really fun stuff begins. So let me open up the media library again. Let me slide it back over here. And let's say that I wanted to change maybe the color of the sign there where it says Metro. I'm gonna to go to the bottom here and there is an edit button. I'm gonna click on that edit button and I'm given a choice of various media editors. Now, my personal preference is Adobe Photoshop. So that's what I'm gonna use. Now that image is opened automatically for me inside of Photoshop. I didn't have to do anything with it. It just launched Photoshop in the background, put the image in here, and I'm ready to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lasso tool, and I'm actually going to use the polygonal lasso tool. And I am just going to make a selection of this area of the sign that I want to change. Once I have my selection, I'm going to go over here to the adjustments layers, and I am going to add a hue saturation adjustment. I'm just going to adjust the hue and we'll make this a nice bright blue color. There we have it. Now, the process that I used here is going to change this file. So what I need to do is flatten my layers. So down here at the bottom, you can see here is my hue saturation adjustment. And what I'll do is in the layers panel menu, I'm going to choose flatten image. Now, I'm going to do this because I know this image is a JPEG, and a JPEG does not support multiple layers. So I've just flattened those layers into a singular background layer. Now that I've got my adjustment made, I simply go up here to the File menu, choose Save. I'm going to leave the default options here, click OK, and then I can close this image. Now, I'm going to minimize Photoshop. It's going to take us right back here to Storyline. So here in the media library, we can see that that image has updated here. And there's a little preview of it. Awesome. Well, what happens if I move the media library out of the way? 
Well, look at that. That image has been automatically updated inside of my Storyline project. I didn't have to worry about resizing it or cropping it. All of that information was retained. And it's all because of this round trip editing feature of the media library. Now, I absolutely love this round trip editing feature of Storyline, and I think you will too. It's going to be a huge time saver for you. If you'd like to learn more about Articulate Storyline, consider one of our upcoming online workshops. In just three hours a day, you too can learn how to create amazing e learning projects with Storyline. That's going to wrap things up for this video tutorial. Until next time, this is William Everhart saying, stay curious.